if you are new here thanks so much for taking time and sliding through with your girl and if you are returning thanks for coming back and kicking it with me once more um so as you can tell by today's title we are actually going to be doing my take on a very classy elegant style i like to call the hollywood curls I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I achieve this look. This is a great look if you're going somewhere, whether it's dinner with your man, dinner with a new boo, hell, dinner by yourself and you're really trying to step, dinner with the girls. It's giving gala. It's giving elegant. It's giving everything that I needs to give. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video now. All right, ladies, let's go ahead and get into it. So first I'm gonna find my part. Of course, with a deep part, you wanna find which side complements your face the best. So we've done that. We're gonna flat iron the areas that are closest to our part so we can get a really flat surface. And we're gonna do it on both sides of the part. So in good old fashion, it's time for us to hit these edges. I do want to point out that the flat iron is on 380, which is the lowest setting for my flat iron. I definitely recommend this setting around the edges where the hair oftentimes is more delicate and sometimes more thin. Quick pause. So you guys know I am a middle part girl, so anytime that I'm trying to do a side part and especially a deep part, my hair is going to fight going in that direction. So what you see me doing is just using the comb to try to manipulate the way that my hair naturally lays now. All right, so now you see I've got my first section and we're gonna start the wanding process. As you see, I am wrapping it away from my face. I didn't do many layers because I don't want this to have too much volume on it. I want it tucked behind my ear and I don't want it to bunch up on my shoulder. How long you hold it is going to be dependent upon the thickness of your hair and of course how tight you want the curl to be. I hold mine for about 10 to 15 seconds. So with this hairstyle, there are sections of my hair that I want to have a lot of volume and some that I don't want to have as much. So what I did now is just took a clip and so I could separate it. I do want to make sure I add a caution when you're doing the back of your hair. If you do have a glove, I recommend that you wear it. You guys didn't realize, but I burnt the hell out my finger. So yeah, I know this wand comes with a glove. I've misplaced mine, of course. But if you have one, I definitely recommend wearing it towards the back. I just want to say that being silent for this long was starting to mess with my head. My daughter couldn't understand why it was so silent in the house. I couldn't understand. So you guys let me know. Do you prefer when I do videos where I'm not talking or where I am talking? Because this was not easy for me. Can we just take a moment to acknowledge my scalp? Do you guys remember in the last video where I said my hair was dry like a Popeye's biscuit? Scalp frosted flaking? Look at my scalp now and look at my hair. This is why it's so important to take that week off to just do a good deep condition, allow your hair time to repair itself. I'm telling you, look at my hair now. So as you see in the front, I'm actually doing it in layers. On the other side, I wanted it to be more flat. Again, I wanted it to be tucked behind my ear, but on this side, it's going to be out more. So I did it in two layers. All right, ladies, this part is super important, especially if you want that nice finger wave type look. 
in the top part of your hair. You want to curl it as tight to your scalp as you can without actually burning yourself, of course. And then you want to hold it a little bit longer because you do want the curls to be a little bit more distinct. Really quickly, I do want to point out that you see I did not straighten my edges on this side, and it's just because I don't have to. Don't put any unnecessary heat on your hair if you just simply don't have to. Nobody's even going to see it. Alright, so now that we are done with the curling process, you know I'm going in with the correct baby. The Dark and Lovely Blowout Shine Serum. I talk about this in almost every single video. You guys got to get it, I swear. They need to sponsor me at this point. So you want to get a little bit on your finger. Enough to make you shine like new money, but not enough to make you look like a wet dog. You know, you don't want to look super, super oily. But would you look at there, another brand that needs to sponsor me. <laughs> so you guys, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray. And I'm going to go ahead and put it all over my hair. Remember ladies, enough to make it stick, but not enough to make it feel like a brick. Because we don't want you walking around looking stiff, okay? Alright, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to lightly comb my hair out. Don't worry, you're not going to lose your curl. The curl is not going anywhere, especially if you've done it the right way. So I'm just doing this to get it as flat as possible. Alright, so you ladies know what time it is. It is baby hair time, or should I say teenage hair time, because these are not baby hairs. And it's time for us as a community to come together and realize that these are not baby hairs. So no, go ahead and take that time and carve out your baby hairs. It just makes it a whole lot easier. But well, what the hell is this? Ladies, check your hair before you walk out the door because let me tell you, a straight hair will stick out like a sore thumb. Moving right along, now that we've given the hair some time to cool down, we're going to take our wide tooth comb and really get through those curls. It's going to make it really uniform. And don't be afraid, just look at that bounce back of the curls, girl. Alright, so on this side, you're going to see why it was, one, so important to do two layers to get that volume, and two, curl as close to the scalp as you possibly can. Like, do you guys see that wave? Do you see the wave? Siri, play Wave by Kanye. I mean, wait, do we listen to him? I don't know. But anyway, you guys, this is giving everything it needs to. Like, this is giving gala. It's giving fundraiser. It's giving when you're in them big meetings for the meals. Take me just to compliment the deal. Do you see this? OMG. Back to our teenage baby hairs. So as you guys see, I'm going to go ahead and grab this piece. Make sure that your flat iron is on the lowest setting. It does not need to be super high for this part. The objective is to get it in one go so that you do not have to do a repeat. Next, to lay our edges, I'm going to grab my BTL gel. You guys know I love this gel for everything from edges all the way to braiding. It's a very very nice thick pomade you're gonna get enough just to put on your finger and I'm gonna place it on the root of the part that is curled I wouldn't put it on the curl just because it's hard to manipulate it once it's already greasy so just put it on the root So now you can just take any regular old edge brush and you're going to push that curl in the way that it was already going. Being that we curled it first, it made it a whole lot easier than if you're just doing it from scratch, in my opinion. So after I have it laid with my edge brush, I like to go after it with a fine tooth comb just to kind of like space it out a little bit. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more fluffy and I like that look. All 
All right, so now I'm just doing some last minute touches and we are done with the style. I hope you guys really love it. I think this is a perfect style if you have to go somewhere and you really got to step. If you are at the end of this tutorial, I appreciate you for staying on this long. Make sure you save this video because you never know when you're going to need a style, something like this. Um, and I appreciate everybody for watching thus far. Here is a final look. And yes, if you do like content like this and you would love to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.